So once you unbox everything and lay it out, you're going to start by putting your tabletop upside down. You're going to put this in the middle and then you're going to loosen these screws and that way you can extend this piece out as far as you want to the ends. So keep loosening all six screws until you're able to pull the sides out. Next thing you're going to do is get the feet in position. So you're going to put both feet on either side and get them in position. This is the part that's easier with two people because it is fairly heavy, but you could do it with one person as I'm showing you here. You're going to get it over the feet and get it in line and the feet will just kind of set through as you can see here in the video. And then you're going to just move the cables out of the way and pop it all the way down, fixing the center bars. Next thing you're going to do is screw the hardware into the feet. This is the flat top screws, which allow the feet to mount to the rails and hold the feet in place. So you're going to screw all four in, two on the inside and then two on the outside using the supplied Allen wrench till it's all nice and tight. And then the next thing you're going to do after you do that is just make sure everything's fully tightened. These feet are fairly heavy and this is the base of the desk. So you want to just double check your work and make sure you're good to go. So for the next step, you're going to add the bases. So this takes four screws. They have a rounded top. You're going to drop them in and then you're going to screw them down with the supplied Allen wrench until they are fully tight, doing one at a time and then going back to check your work. Again, this is the base of the desk, so you want to make sure that everything is fully secure and tight. After you flip it over, you're going to put screws in the top, which is the support bracket that bolts to the desk. And you're going to put one on each side and then tighten them down fully. There is one of these per side. So basically, I'm showing you one side here and you're going to go and do the other side on your own. Um, but both sides are the same. Then you're going to take these rubber gaskets and put them in the open holes, two on each side on the sides, and then two on the center. And then you're going to do that all the way across. So as you can see here, I've already done the other side, and I'm just showing you how to put them through. And this is layer where you're going to screw your hardware. So in this step, I'm showing you putting hardware through the rubber gaskets, which kind of act as an isolator for the desk and make it a little quieter and also give it a little buffer so you're not rubbing the metal to the wood and you're going to screw it into place and then the next part is the control box i like to put it here between the bars so it's nice and out of the way and the instructions they say to put it outside but i actually found this to be a better mounting spot you're going to screw this into the desk and then you're going to screw the controller onto the desk too you could pick whichever side you want to live on um, because it is uh, basically universal. You can mount it wherever you want and then just screw it in and then you're going to be running the cable. So next part here, I'm running the cable to the control box. Um, so each leg has its own cable and then the controller has a cable and then there's a power cable. And then here we go. The desk is working and in action. One thing you guys might want to think about is doing some cable management underneath, but it is all set.